Okay, so it's just one day before the exam tomorrow and I thought I'd um, post up this video in response to a request from Cat Bird, Bert, um, uh, question 3 of test, general ability test 2 um, released publicly from the Department of New South Wales um, Education. Okay, so question 3 says, in a certain go code, D-N-D-I-Z-P-S means elegant. In the same code, R-G-U-G-Q CK means A. Recount B. Regards um, C. Sincere D. Several Okay, first things first The um, way I would approach this is look at the word Is there a relationship that holds this word within itself and then that relationship could be applied here It's unlikely Okay um, D. D could represent EE -E, but because down here I can't see a D it's unlikely for that to be the case okay the other thing you then consider is the relationship between the words so how does E relate to D how does L relate to N how does E relate to D how does G and so forth so let's do that E relates to D well how does D relate to E because this is this is what we're trying to figure out. D is actually in order to get to elegant we need to add one letter okay and in order to get to L we need to minus one letter sorry let's put that there let's see sorry minus two letters in order to get to again it's plus one and then G to I, sorry, from I to G, it's minus 2. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And from there, you can see the pattern is already plus, plus 1, minus 2. And you can see that because Z is the final letter of the alphabet, and then plus 1 leads it back to A. Okay, so that's our pattern here. Let's apply it. So we've got the code here, so let's apply the same rule. So it's plus one, so L M N O P Q R S. That means A is out. Okay. Sincere uh, um, or several? Well, we need to go down by two. We know that I is actually higher than G. That's off, and therefore your answer is several. Okay, that's one of the first things you should consider here, and that's really answering this question. Um, I guess let's look at the pitfalls now. Some of the pitfalls are to consider that there is a relationship, as in a same relationship between each letter. So D equals E, and D equals E when you code it through. So they would maybe think something like. Um, see G you can see here that G doubles up and someone who didn't find what this pattern was would consider that G G well what's what's in here that repeats itself um, well several actually repeats this their self as well there um, and that would be it and you'd still get the answer in this case there are cases where that situation hasn't worked but several in this case has worked um, what other pitfalls can someone go through with this um, I guess another pitfall would be to I guess to not consider that there are patterns that lie here um, some people might think that it's always a one-to-one -one, so D equals E D equals E G equals I so they would do something like um, Let's see what's what's common in both up here. There's nothing common up here as down here, so that sort of problem doesn't really exist. But in other cases, they do. Okay, so that's a quick way of answering that, and I hope um, this has helped you. And best of luck for your exam tomorrow.